Nico from Voiceflow here. In this video, um, I will explain how you can use Live Search API to find like matching URLs to a query and upload or use those URLs to populate your knowledge base. Meaning that not only you can use this flow as a fallback whenever you don't have the content in your knowledge base, but it also it will also basically auto populate your knowledge base um, again if, if you don't have that information. So here is how it works. What we will need um, here is obviously a knowledge base um, starting from scratch. Nothing in my knowledge base, and then we will use in that case uh, Tavily. So this is an API. You can think of this like a it's similar to Google Search with a bit of uh, AI on top of it. So you can generate an answer. Um, and uh, it's basically, it's doing a good job. I've tested a bunch of those. And, and this one is uh, pretty uh, easy to use. They do have a REST API. So we can use that straight within the uh, your agent using the API step. And they do provide a, a free plan. So you can test that uh, yeah, up to 1,000 API calls uh, monthly. So way, way enough to, to do some testing here. So let's go back to our agent. So the first thing we will prompt the user for a question. We will check in our knowledge base if we can answer or not. So here I'm using a AI set step, passing the last utterance, which is what we are capturing from that capture step. Some instructions. So this is part of my prompt. Same here for the system. I'm using a system prompt for that. Um, the model is GPT-4 set to uh, dot two for the temperature and uh, max token almost 500. Uh, you can like, reduce that if you want to. Um, the response will be uh, set to the LLM answer variable. Um, what is important here is in my instruction, I specify the LLM that if you don't have any information in your context, your response will be no answer. Uh, this is just a, another layer of uh, verification. Because by default, when you use the set AI, if nothing is found, you will get a not found. But you, you can also get something like, uh, I wasn't able to find anything in the context provided. So you want to be sure that you can also handle that in your prompt. That's also why in my condition step, I handle the condition where the value from my, in, in my variable is no answer, but also uh, not found. So in those two cases, we are going to use our API. Otherwise, we just show the answer to the user. So basically meaning that we have something in our knowledge base, enough context to generate an answer. If that's not the case, we are going to use the Tavli API to do a search. I'm passing my API key. Uh, the query will be uh, prefixed by in VoiceFlow, just to add that context that we are talking about VoiceFlow. The last two turns, so the user question. I'm doing a basic search. Um, keep in mind that you can use advanced, but that will use two requests instead of one. Uh, I'm not including the answer up to you. You can also try that with the answer. It's really depend of uh, the kind of question and then the source you have. Um, you, you can use an answer for stuff like, uh, I don't know, the, the Bitcoin price, for example. Uh, that will be uh, uh, an easy way to, to get that answer. But in my case, because uh, I'm focusing on uh, the uh, voice flow documentation, uh, that will not be super helpful. The, the answer will be uh, pretty basic based on, on, on the snippet and based on the URL we've, we've got. What we are using this for is, again, to get a list of matching URLs uh, where we can find some context to answer that question. And based on this, so here I'm mapping the full response of so the object to uh, the tabli response variable. And then I will start a loop. So in that response, I will, get, uh, I will get a result array. And uh, this is what I want to use. That array will have, let's go back here. Um, just so you can see, yeah, it will looks like this. So the result array will have content and the URL. What I want to use is the URL. And I'm going to do that for each one of those items and populate my knowledge base with those URL. So here, this is what we're doing. First, we set we get the number of results we, we have. So we again we've mapped the, the object into tabli response. So using the set step, we say okay, tabli response uh, results array 
what is the size or the length of, of that array. So it will give us the number of results we have. Then we set the current URL variable to the actual item or the item from that array, the actual URL. So we will start at 0, 1, 2, et cetera, up to uh, 5 because we request a max of 6 uh, results. OK, so once we've done this, we post that URL to the, uh, or using the uh, document upload API. Uh, we use the current URL for the URL and the name as well. Um, right after that, we increment the count variable value. And we have a condition to say, OK, do we still have some result to deal with, like a new URL to add to our knowledge base or not? If that's the case, we loop. We've just incremented, it, incremented our count value. So here we've got the next URL. So we start with 0, and then we increment that, 1, 2, et cetera, up to when we don't have any result to deal with. And then we can go to that wait uh, step. So this is just a, a choice step with an all reply set to 4 seconds. Actually, we can like, lower that 3 seconds. It's just to give some time for those URL to be parsed in our knowledge base. And then we go back right there doing again a knowledge base search using the set ai but this time because we've just populated the knowledge base with those url we should be able to answer the user so uh, let's give this a try with this first one i will run this and ask that question how can i auto open my chat widget on my web page again remember we, we don't have any content in our knowledge base so the first time we will run this knowledge base will tell us that or the, the value here from our elements or variable will be no answer or not found and we will start looking for the matching url we can add to our knowledge base so let's go so sure enough we, di we didn't have any result we go over all this and we wait before generating a response using our um, response uh, set step here we go. We have the snippet code um, we want to use to generate that open function um, with some instruction and replace the project ID, URL, and version ID. That's, uh, that's correct. And uh, if we now if we go to our knowledge base, we can see that indeed this has been populated with the URL from that uh, live search. So now if I ask the same question, we will go straight uh, to the KB search and get an answer using only the KB. So here we go. Doing the KB search, generating the response using GPT-4, and showing that answer to the user. Here we go. The code and, again, some explanation about what to change or replace in that uh, code. Uh, we can do the same with this one. Uh, this question, how many uh, monthly token as the pro plan? So this is not part of the knowledge base. Right now, the knowledge base has been just uh, newly populated with uh, mostly chat widget related question. So again, we will use the online search for that. Uh, get the available URL or the matching URL, populate the knowledge base with this, make a pose to be sure that all those docs have been parsed and get a result. And indeed, that's the correct answer. Again, let's see. Uh, if our knowledge base has been populated, and yes, has been populated with uh, what's new pricing, new pricing plan and feature. So yeah, that's, that's enough to get the context to answer this one. And if I ask the same question, this time we'll only use the knowledge base. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it. This is how you can use live search to get URL you can use to populate your knowledge base, meaning that actually you are using the question coming from your user to populate your knowledge base each time. And uh, as soon as the knowledge base has been populated, next time one of your users asks kind of the same question, uh, you will be ready to answer that. So do not hesitate to try that. Um, again, um, there is a bunch of API available to do some, some of those search, live search. Uh, give it a try. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, have a good one and uh, chat soon.